the better yeah. the development. Absolutely. I mean, right. obviously that's a good rule of thumb with anything. I think a lot of times the guys will get, you know, a little bit too overzealous and they, they turn a little heavier. Sure. Where they're using their shoulders. Yes. And they're trying to and they use the momentum, see how I'm using it. Yep. You should just stand up right, keep your lower back tight, maybe knee slightly bent, and then just really just come down. Beautiful. And that's it. Right. I mean, it's pretty simple, but I think a lot of the time, you know, we get excited. We want to, you know, we want to train hard. Want the pounds just to go up. Yeah. yeah. We, we took some neural core, we got crazy, and we're like, yeah, we're going to be like Phil Heath. <laughs> but you got to really, you know, have method to your madness. Yes. And making sure that you're getting something out of the workout. Because if you're going halfway, you're going to get half the result. Right, gotcha. Can you do a good 10 reps with oh, perfect sure. form so we Absolutely. can see exactly how it looks? And Phil's focusing his mind on the tricep. Three heads to the tricep, great development here. And you can see it working. Full range of motion, you can see Phil's twisting out at the bottom to get that full contraction like he was talking about. It's only the elbow joint that's moving, not the shoulder joint, guys. The elbow joint only, it is an isolation movement. For sure. One of the cool things about this is you can actually hold it at the top, you know, at the bottom. Contract. And you can contract for one count and then come back up and contract. And I'm already feeling the pump right now and yeah. I only did one set. So you mess around with the rep tempo, you hold that contraction oh, sometimes sure. and... Oh yeah, yep. oh, yeah. You can always change the cadence in your workouts with stuff like this. Okay. You know, you can do a couple, you know, faster. And that's the cool thing about rep ranges of 10 or more is because you can do two, normal, you can do too fast if you want, but not too fast. Yeah. But a little Still bit Still keeping control and attention. You very, very slow, so now you're getting the best of everything. Yeah, okay. That's great variety and it's a great tip right there, guys. So Phil, how many sets here, how many reps for the first exercise? This one, I, I usually do three to four sets. No, 10 to sometimes 15 repetitions. 10 to 15 reps, four yep. sets. Yep. Beautiful, and then we move on to the next exercise, which is? We're gonna do a little bit different. It's, it's, a, it's a French press, so we're gonna use an incline you know, incline bench, but instead of using a camera bar, we're gonna use dumbbells. Show you a little different. Beautiful. Show you a secret. Ah, let's right. do it. All right. I didn't like the vertical leg press at first. Um, I just think that it's an uncomfortable movement, my low back and knees and stuff like that, but I think just like with any movement, the body does adjust. It's one of my favorite exercises now. I think it's actually pretty good. What I'm really trying to be conscious of is, is how how my muscles are actually contracting during these exercises. Nine days out, baby! Right now, I'm really, really pumped like energy wise but i gotta keep in mind that at this low amount of body fat um it's more prone to injury so you gotta walk a fine line 10 for first call out 12 for top three 14 top two 20 to be mr olympia I like this angle. Unlike other leg presses, usually I push it out a little bit and go over 10 plates inside just to get, you know, the contraction and stuff. This one I know I can do half as much and it's the same. Not all machines are created equal. Like. It's an angle for some reason that the down force actually comes down pretty hard, so to get it up is one thing, but you gotta control it on the way down. I train with it myself. I want to train hard, I want to train intense. Got to train smart though too. Um, can't risk getting a minor injury right now. That's it for quads. Um, Whew. That was intense. Um, definitely being nine days out for the Mr. Olympic contest. That's, I think, one of the better workouts I've had this whole prep, just as far as intensity is concerned. Um, ready for, ready for the fight of my life right now. And uh, honestly, I'm not even counting anymore. I'm just going by how I feel. Doing it with a good 350 pound range for 20 reps um, was challenging for me, and I could feel it like every rep I could feel, and that was really cool. What Honey has me doing right now is four sets of 20 reps, and uh, a lot of people say, "Oh, that," you know, so. 
you know, you're doing all this high rep training. And a lot of people don't realize that as long as you're using heavy, heavy weight, I don't see it being a problem. But uh, if you're using high reps as a way of um, mm. lowering the weight and so-called chasing the bump, you're gonna get small. First place, baby. Second place. So right here we have our nine leg curl machine. Um, I'm just gonna do three sets of uh, anywhere from 12 to 15 reps. It's been a good range for me so far. I've just noticed a lot of results. I mean, if anyone noticed like the hamstring drop that I showed at the Arnold Classic, this is really the exercise that did it, so. Right here we're at the Smith Rack. Uh, I'm getting ready to do some stiff legged deadlifts. I'm going to place my feet right here, and what that's going to do is put more emphasis on my glutes and hamstrings. So I'm going to let my toes come over just a little bit, and I'm just going to perform it naturally. If you can do it with a little weight, then that's fine, but I mean, you really want to put some poundage on just to get the stretch, but without hurting your lower back. If you're hurting your lower back, you're probably going too heavy. So with this exercise, we're going to point the toes that way, just point the toes down, and not kick with the heels. One of my favorite exercises, actually. Um, I'll keep this particular movement in throughout the year, probably for the remainder of my career, here over at Armbrust Pro Gym. Giving them guest spots and stocks through the roof. I heard you fuck them with this guy. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. They call him right, he's sick, and he's spitting fire and life. Got him out the dryer, he's hot, find him in for minor with top. But a fucking Nile is pumping pine, he's a prick, he's a cock, the type. When they want to be with them rappers, hope he gets shot. Eight years in the making, patiently waiting to pro. Now the record with your notice, taking over the flow. He's got a part in a crime, this shit is equally dope. You won't believe the kind of shit that comes out of this kid's blood time. Catch your every day on the block He knows how to work with Willie's got it And he's way to the top He goes thinking to come and know his name Pete, he's asking him Was it he giving that birth And does he stand for that With a low He's in the truth Coming around in the pool He'll get you buzzing quick And then a shot of rock And the truth Juice, 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 juice Yeah, he's cool I know no brand He's one of the best Dedicated to what they do And give a hundred percent Forget Mike Nobody really knows how or why He works so hard It seems like he's never got time Because he writes every note And he writes every line And I've seen him work When that life was on his mind It's like a design It's written in his head every time Before he even touches the keys Or speaks in a rhyme And those motherfuckers He runs with the kids and All right, so this is Phil Heath and... And I'm Kai Elfrey. <laughs> and we're here over at the Chatsworth Powerhouse Gym. Uh, we just got done finishing shooting some uh, film for you guys for Flex Online, and uh, it was a really long day. We got in about 10 a.m., and now it's closing in on midnight. So we're crazy tired, so I don't know what you want to try. I think we decided on back. Me. Hey, I'll take <laughs> that. All right, so we're going to do some back. Um, like I said, we're both still tired as hell, but... You know, you know, we're gonna get a little little workout in just before the you know Olympia prep starts for both of us, and you know I'm feeling pretty good, I guess. I mean, I'm sure Kai's. You know, how you feeling? Well, I don't think you're gonna speak for me, were you? There no, no, I'm not gonna speak for you. No, I think uh, <laughs> I feel uh, like you feel. How you feel? <laughs> I'm all right. Like my 
that's what you say. In college, you can't dunk, no try. It's just gonna look dumb, you know? Your push look beautiful though, bro. Oh, thank you. Being more mindful with contractions, taking the time to really, you know, apply your mind to what you're doing. I figured I'll do one more before I start to get close. Oh, shit. Now I gotta do it. <laughs> See so how you kinda do me? You wanna do some, uh, yeah. some type of low, or? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Four. Let's go. Five. Let's go. Six. Let's go. Seven. Let's go. Okay, since he was there, it was good to have a training partner for once. You know, especially someone I'm gonna be competing. <laughs> Hmm. What are you thinking of? I can see the, the college turn. You want to try some pull downs? Let's get it. 12, 13. Oh. We're going to check, we're going to check uh, Bill's testosterone levels. Make sure he's, you know. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I mean, like, you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not mad? Oh! You don't want to see Bill mad. Oh, no. Lord. You don't want to see Bill mad. So, I was thinking of this, like a low roll, or... Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, all right, let's do it. Let's go, five. Let's get it, let's get it. Six. Seven. You need to do a little J-color workout. I'm telling you, dude. Back? You kidding me? Which, which, Battle which to the Olympia. Oh, okay, we're using that for Olympia. Ah, well, it's in the midnight, but I actually feel bad for Kai because it's gotta be going on three in the morning for him, so that's good, that's good. I know how hard these guys train out here in Hollywood. Don't look at me, dude, I ain't from here. <laughs> how, these guys, <laughs> what guys? Uh, put the weight where they're supposed to go. Maybe it's on the bottom and <laughs> ladder on top. It was a idiot puts the heaviest one on the top. Friday afternoon, uh, March 10th. We're about nine weeks out from the Colorado Pro, and uh, feel pretty good. I mean, drop some, drop some good body fat. Uh, so, like I said, been feeling pretty good. Just got back from Ohio last week, so been getting back in the swing of things. But um, you now this is where uh, usually the second phase out of four usually kicks in. Going nine weeks, then six, then three, and then the day of the show. So the intensity gets a little bit better due to the diet things like that because I usually don't lose a whole lot of strength. Um, I actually develop more muscle endurance and because of me eating uh, cleaner my body just seems to respond better so we got a couple more sets of this and then we'll move on. <laughs>
dumbbell work, there's gonna be some incline. All right, everything's warmed up. Go ahead and no, all work and set from here on now. Don't warm up.
because I'm like putting on a hat and stuff. Everything starts squeezing. That's it didn't count. That was just to kind of find my sweet spot and stuff. Kind of like, you know, you play tennis and stuff. If you do, hitting your stroke right. And that's kind of like what you use your warm-ups for. Just to find like that good contraction and everything. You want to make sure you actually contract the muscle, not just lifting the weight. It's two different things, you know. You can stimulate more muscle fibers doing it that way, having your mind and your muscle work together. I definitely like to warm up my tries and stuff because just because um, I sustained a slight little injury in the off season with my elbows. So in order to make my elbows feel good, I try to throw in some good drops before I start hitting my work sets. It's good that you get to see this off season. So then you know there ain't no lumps and bumps in my arms. That's no knock on some of the other pros. Yeah. <sighs> 
me next. I like those overhead extensions um, just with the one arm. I like isolation movements. Put a lot of unilateral training. Bring up, make sure that uh, the left is working just as hard, vice versa. But um, definitely got to be careful with these because it's how I almost got injured with my elbows. I'm trying to go too heavy, trying to. I, I, left, I brought my ego in that day. That's one thing you guys, you know, a lot of people don't realize. You know, yeah, you get jazzed up and, you know, we got your friends, you're competing and things like that. But you always have to remember that you're a bodybuilder, not a powerlifter, you're not a strong man. So there's only a few genetically gifted bodybuilders that, that can train ridiculously heavy. You know, the Johnny Jackson's, British Warren's, Ronnie Coleman, of course. Not to mention, like, you know, guys like Jay, Mark Sewell, all those guys, they all throw up. We all throw up a lot of weight, but you got to be smart if you want to play this game for a long time. And especially with me being... The youngest out of all those guys, I want longevity, so I can't be in here trying to be he-man. You know, gotta make baby steps. Even though you feel really good, <laughs> and you want to look the whole house. Gotta be smart. So you got to make your last set just as good or better than your first set of the workout. Because then you get to go home and go eat. You got my pictures on the wall. Oh, girls can complain. You keep me fooling. But girls like that want to live in the pack. Oh, you hot, girl. But that don't stop you from moving. Come and see the dog. I'm going to be a cute one. I don't care who I roll with a cool one. Twist up my side. You wear dark clothing. On the east side, there's no question. Nothing I do. I smack up the wall. I'm going to be a Phil, exercise number one. Why do you choose the rope press down for your first exercise in your tricep workout? I usually use the rope attachment. You know, I, I like to uh, be able to warm up with a couple, you know, nice easy sets. You know, getting half motion, full range of motion, just trying to get some blood in the okay. elbow area. I got a little tendonitis going, so it's good to, you know, warm up properly sure. so we don't pull anything. Beautiful. Sure. All right. Yeah. So show us how it's done and if you can talk yeah, us yeah, through sure. the technique while you're doing it. Yeah, so one of the cool things about using the rope is that you can actually move around a little bit. Yep. 
Um, what, what I see a lot of guys do, they normally just come and keep these two balls right here connected. But what I try to do is right around here, because this will be the top, right about halfway through. See how I move my elbows Stop a little bit? Out. And then, if anything, I'll try to twist. Excellent. And then that way, I'm actually getting you know full range, but then instead of right here, Yep. I'm using more of the tricep head. Right. So Is it bringing out a different head by twisting out? Well, just a little bit more. I mean, the good thing about triceps is that you'll know if you're working them completely or not by the level of extension that you get. Yeah. The more that you can extend, the, the better it will be. So right here, you're only getting so much, but when you come out, you get even more you know, resistance on the tricep. So, so like the, better the better the contraction or the better yeah. the development? Absolutely. I mean, right. obviously, that's a good rule of thumb with anything. I think a lot of the time, the guys will get you know, a little bit too overzealous and they, they train a little heavier. Sure. Where they're using their shoulders. Yes. And they're, trying to, and they're using momentum. See how I'm using it? Yep. You should just stand up right, keep your lower back tight, maybe knees slightly bent, and then just really just come down. Beautiful. And that's it. Right. And it's pretty simple, but I think a lot of the time, you know, we get excited. We want to, you know, we want to train hard. Want the pounds just to go up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we took some neural core, we got crazy, and we're like, ah, we're going to be like, no heat. <laughs> but you got to really, you know, have method to your madness. Yes. And making sure that you're getting something out of the workout. Because if you're going halfway, you're going to get half the result. Right, gotcha. Can you do a good 10 reps with oh, perfect sure. form so we can Absolutely. see exactly how it looks? And Phil's focusing his mind on the tricep. Three heads to the tricep, great development here. And you can see it working. Full range of motion, you can see Phil's twisting out at the bottom to get that full contraction like he was talking about. It's only the elbow joint that's moving, not the shoulder joint, guys. The elbow joint only, it is an isolation movement. For sure. One of the cool things about this is you can actually hold it at the top, you know, at the bottom. Contract. And you can contract for a one count and then come back up and contract. And I'm already feeling the pump right now. I yeah. don't get one set. So you mess around with the rep tempo. You hold that contraction oh, sometimes. Sure. And, oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. You can always change the cadence in your workouts with stuff like this. Okay. You know, you can do a couple, you know, faster. And that's the cool thing about rep ranges of 10 or more is because you can do two normal. You can do too fast if you want, but not too fast. Yeah. But a little Still bit Still keeping control and tension. very, very slow. So now you're getting the best of everything. Yeah, okay. That's great variety. And it's a great tip right there, guys. So, Phil, how many sets here? How many reps for the first exercise? This one, I, I usually do three to four sets. No, 10 to sometimes 15 repetitions. 10 to 15 reps, four yep. sets. Yep. Beautiful. And then we move on to the next exercise, which is? We're going to do a little bit different. It's, it's, a, it's a French press. So we're going to use the incline, you know, incline bench. But instead of using the camera bar, we're going to use dumbbells. Show you a little different. Beautiful. Show you a secret. Ah, let's All right. do it. All right. I didn't like the vertical leg press at first. Um, I just think that it's an uncomfortable movement, my low back and knees and stuff like that. But I think just like with any movement, the body does adjust. It's one of my favorite exercises. Now. I think it's actually pretty good. What I'm really trying to be conscious of is, is how how my muscles are actually contracting during these exercises. Nine days out, baby! Right now, I'm really, really pumped, like energy-wise, but I gotta keep in mind that at this low amount of body fat, um, you're more prone to injury, so you gotta walk a fine line. 10 for first call out. 12 for top three. 14, top two. 20 to be Mr. Olympia. I like the thing though, unlike other leg presses, usually the leg press you gotta load it up and look for the 10 place inside just to get, you know, get to the contraction and stuff. This one I know I can do half as much and it's the same. Not all machines are created equal. <laughs> Eagle, for some reason, the, the down force actually comes down pretty hard, so to get it up is one thing, but you gotta control it on the way down. I train with it myself. I want to train hard, I want to train intense. You gotta train smart though too. Um, can't risk getting a minor injury right now. for quads. Um, whew, that was intense. Um, definitely being nine days out for the Mr. Olympia contest. That's, I think, one of the better workers I've had this whole prep, just as far as intensity is concerned. Um, ready, for, 
ready for the fight of my life right now. And uh, honestly, I'm not even counting it. Anymore. I'm just going by how I feel. Doing it with a good 350 pound range for 20 reps um, was challenging for me, and I could feel it like every rep I could feel, and that was really cool. What Honey has to be doing right now is four sets of 20 reps, and uh, a lot of people say, "Oh, that you know, so you know, you're doing all this high rep training." And a lot of people don't realize that as long as you're using heavy, heavy weight, I don't see it being a problem. But uh, if you're using high reps as a way of um, lowering the weight and so-called chasing the bump, you're gonna get small. First place, baby. Second place. So right here we have our nine leg curl machine. Um, I'm just gonna do three sets of uh, you know, from 12 to 15 reps. It's been a good range for me so far. I've just noticed a lot of results. I mean, if anyone noticed like the hamstring drop that I showed at the Arnold Classic, this is really the exercise that did it, so. Right here, we're at the Smith Rack. I'm uh, getting ready to do some stuff like a deadlift. So I'm gonna place my feet right here, and what that's gonna do is put more emphasis on my glutes and hamstrings. So I'm going to let my toes come over just a little bit, and I'm just going to perform it naturally. If you can do it with a little weight, then that's fine, but I mean, you really want to put some poundage on just to get the stretch, but without hurting your lower back. If you're hurting your lower back, you're probably going too heavy. So with this exercise, we're going to point the toes that way. Just point the toes down and not kick with the heels. One of my favorite exercises, actually. Um, I'll keep this particular movement in throughout the year, probably for the remainder of my career, here over at Armbrust Pro Gym. Church, I like bleach, man. Why you have the stupidest person? This dude is the truth. Not everybody giving them guest spots. His stocks through the roof. I heard he fucking with that guy. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. They call him Ryan, he's sick, he's spitting fire and Mike. Got him out the dryer, he's hot. Found him in Fort Minor with top. But a fucking Nile is porcupine. He's a prick, he's a cop. The type we would want to be with rappers. Hope he gets shot. Eight years in the making, patiently waiting to throw. Now the record with Shinoda is taking over the flow. He's got a partner in crime. This shit is equally dope. You won't believe the kind of shit that comes out of this kid's clothes. He's not checking the game on the block. He knows how to work with Will. He's got making his way to the top. You go for it, I'm in Lord's name. He keep asking me, what's it? Give him that birthday, because he's staying on that little low. He's in the room, he's coming to rock in the booth. He thinks he wasn't quick, he's giving a shot of rock and juice. Juice, juice, juice. He's cool, and all around, he's one of the best. They can't get to me, they do it, give a hundred percent. Forget my, nobody really knows how or why. He works so hard, it seems like he's never got time. Because he writes every note, he writes every line. I've seen it, it worked, but now like he was on it. His mind is like a design, it's written in his head every time. Before he even touches the keys, or speaks in a rhyme. And those motherfuckers, he runs with the kids in his
All right, so this is Phil He and, and I'm Kai Elbree. <laughs> and we're here over at the Chatsworth Powerhouse Gym. Uh, we just got done finishing shooting some uh, film for you guys for Flex Online, and uh, it was a really long day. We got in about 10 a.m., and now it's closing in on midnight. So we're crazy tired, so I don't know what you want to try. I think we decide on back. Hey, I'll <laughs> trade back. All right, so we're going to do some back. Um, like I said, we're both still tired as hell, but... You know, you know, we're gonna get a little little workout in just before the you know Olympia prep starts for both of us. And you know, I'm feeling pretty good, I guess. I mean, I'm sure, Kai's, You know, how you feeling? Well, I don't think you're gonna speak for me, were you? There no, no, I'm not gonna speak for you. No, I think uh, <laughs> I feel uh, like you feel. How you feel? <laughs> I'm alright. Coach used to say, in college, if you can't dunk, don't try. It's just gonna look dumb, you know? Your pull ups look beautiful, though, though. Oh, thank you. Being more mindful of the distractions, taking the time to really, you know, apply your mind to what you're doing. I figured I'd do one more before I start to get cold. Oh, shit. Now I gotta do it. <laughs> so, can I do me? You want to do some, uh, some type of low or? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Four. Let's go. Five. Let's go. Let's go. Seven. Let's go. Okay, the intensity was there. It was good to have a training partner for once. You know, especially someone I'm going to be competing. Uh, <laughs> what else you want to do, Kai? Hmm. What are you thinking of? I can see the, I can see the cogs are turning. You want to try some pull downs? Let's get it. Because this will be the top right about halfway through. See how I move my elbows Stop a little bit? Out. And then, if anything, I'll try to twist. Excellent. And then that way, I'm actually getting you know full range, but then instead of right here, yep. I'm using more of the tricep head. Right. So Is it bringing out a different head by twisting out? Well, just a little bit more. I mean, the good thing about triceps is that you'll know if you're working them completely or not by the level of extension that you get. Yeah. The more that you can extend, the, the better it will be. So right here, you're only getting so much, but when you come out, you get even more you know, resistance on the tricep. So, so the better the contraction, the better yeah. the development. Absolutely. I mean, right. obviously, that's a good rule of thumb with anything. I think a lot of times, the guys will get you know, a little bit too overzealous and they, they train a little heavier. Sure. Where they're using their shoulders. Yes. And they're trying to and they're using momentum, see how I'm using it. Yep. You should just stand up right, keep your lower back tight, maybe knee slightly bent, and then just really just come down. Beautiful. And that's it. Right. I mean, it's pretty simple, but I think a lot of the time, you know, we get excited. We want to, you know, we want to train hard. Want the pound just to go up. Said, yeah. yeah. We, we took some neural core, we got crazy, and we're like, ah, I'm going to be like, no heat. <laughs> but you got to really, you know, have method to your madness. Yes. And making sure that you're getting something out of the workout. Because if you're going halfway, you're going to get half the result. Right, gotcha. Can you do a good 10 reps with oh, perfect sure. form so we Absolutely. can see exactly how it looks? And Phil's focusing his mind on the tricep. Three heads to the tricep, great development here, and you can see it working. Full range of motion, you can see Phil's twisting out at the bottom to get that full contraction like he was talking about. It's only the elbow joint that's moving, not the shoulder joint, guys. The elbow joint only, it is an isolation movement. For sure. One of the cool things about this is you can actually hold it at the top, you know, at the bottom. Contract. And you can contract for one count and then come back up and contract. And I'm already feeling the pump right now. I yeah. only one set. So you mess around with the rep tempo. You hold that contraction oh, sometimes. Sure. And, oh, yeah. Yep. oh, yeah. You can always change the cadence in your workouts with stuff like this. Okay. You know, you can do a couple, you know, faster. And that's the cool thing about rep ranges of 10 or more is because you can do two normal. You can do two fast if you want, but not too fast. Yeah. But a little Still bit Still keeping control and tension. You can do a couple tension. very, very slow. So now you're getting the best of everything. Yeah, okay. That's great variety. And it's a great tip right there, guys. So, Phil, how many sets here? How many reps for the first exercise? This one, I, I usually do three to four sets. No, 10 to sometimes 15 repetitions. 10 to 15 reps, four yep. sets. Yep. Beautiful. And then we move on to the next exercise, which is? We're going to do a little bit different. It's, it's, a, it's a French press. So we're going to use the incline, you know, incline bench. But instead of using the camera bar, we're going to use dumbbells. Show you a little different. Beautiful. Show you a secret. Ah, let's All do right. it. All right. the vertical leg press at first. Um, I just think that it's an uncomfortable movement, my low back and knees and stuff like that. But I think just like with any movement, the body does adjust. It's one of my favorite exercises now. I think it's actually pretty good. What I'm really trying to be conscious of is how, 
how my muscles are actually contracting during these exercises. Nine days out, baby! <laughs> right now, I'm really, really pumped, like energy-wise. But I gotta keep in mind that at this low amount of body fat, um, I'm more prone to injury, so you gotta walk a fine line. 10 for first call out. 12 for top three. 14, top two. 20 to be Mr. Olympia. I like your camera. Unlike other like presses, usually like push you out a little bit up with over 10 plates inside just to get you know the contraction and stuff. This one I know to do half as much and it's the same. Not all machines are created equal. Like. <laughs> it's a big angle for some reason that the down force actually comes down pretty hard, so to get it up is one thing, but you gotta control it on the way down. I train with it myself. I want to train hard, I want to train intense. You gotta train smart though too. Um, can't risk getting a minor injury right now. That's it for quads. Um, whew. That was intense. Um, definitely being nine days out for the Mr. Olympic contest, that's, I think, one of the better workouts I've had this whole prep, just as far as intensity is concerned. Um, ready, for, ready for the fight of my life right now. And uh, Honestly, I'm not even counting anymore. I'm just going by how I feel. Doing it with a good 315 pound range for 20 reps um, was challenging for me, and I could feel it. Like every rep I could feel, and that was really cool. What Hani has me doing right now is four sets of 20 reps. And uh, a lot of people say, oh, that, you know, so, you know, you're doing all this high rep training, and a lot of people don't realize that as long as you're using heavy, heavy weight, I don't see it being a problem. But uh, if you're using high reps as a way of um, mm. lowering the weight and so-called chasing the bump, you're gonna get small. First place, baby. Second place. So right here we have our nine leg curl machine. Um, I'm just gonna do three sets of uh, you know, from 12 to 15 reps. It's been a good range for me so far. I've just noticed a lot of results. I mean, if anyone noticed like the hamstring drop that I showed at the Arnold Classic, this is really the exercise that did it, so. Right here, we're at the Smith Rack. Uh, I'm getting ready to do some stiff legged deadlifts. So I'm gonna place my feet right here, and what that's gonna do is put more emphasis on my glutes and hamstrings. So I'm gonna let my toes come over just a little bit, and I'm just gonna perform it naturally. If you can do it with little weight, then that's fine, but I mean, you really wanna put some poundage on just to get the stretch, but without hurting your lower back. If you're hurting your lower back, you're probably going too heavy. So with this exercise, we're gonna point the toes that way. Just point the toes down and not kick with the heels. One of my favorite exercises, actually. Um, I'll keep this particular movement in throughout the year, probably for the remainder of my career, here over at Armbrust Pro Gym.
he doesn't need his name on the lights He just wants to be heard, whether it's the beat of the mic Feels so unlike everybody else alone In spite of the fact that some people still think that they know him But fuck him, he knows the code It's not about the salary, it's all about reality And making some noise, making a story Making sure his click stays up That means when he puts it down, talks, picking it up Let's go Who the hell is he going to You never really trust much Never be circumstances, never even this house struck Humble through opportunities, giving this right to fast The man is judging, cause he makes a living for right and rest Put it together with self, got a picture to mix Never asking for someone's help, never get some respect He's only focused on what he knows He's been as we don't reach, now we don't oppose The skill of an artist This is 20% skill, 80% Clear, be a hundred percent clear, cause Brian was ill Who would've thought he'd be the one that set the West in flames Then I heard him wreck it with the crystal method, name of the game I came back, dropped mega death, took him to church I like bleach, man, why you have the stupidest person? This dude is the truth, now everybody giving them guest spots His stocks through the roof, I heard he fuck him with that stock This is ten percent luck, twenty percent skill Fifteen percent concentrated power of will Five percent pleasure, fifty percent pain And a hundred percent reason to remember the name They call him Ryan, he's sick, he's spitting fire and mic Got him out the dryer, he's hot, found him in Fort Minor with top But a fucking Nile is porcupine, he's a prick, he's a cock The type, when they want to be with them rappers hope he gets shot Eight years in the making, patiently waiting to blow Now the record with Shinoda's is taking over the flow He's got a partner in crime, this shit is equally dope You won't believe the kind of shit that comes out of this kid's blow He's not your every day on the block He knows how to work with what he's got, making his way to the top He don't think it's a common lord, his name Even if you're asking him, was it? He's giving that birthday, this is dead on that with a note He's in the room, he's coming to rock in the booth He'll get your words and quickly bring a shot of rockin' with juice Juice, juice, he's cool and all around, he's one of the best Then they gave it to him, they do it, give a hundred percent Forget Mike, nobody really knows how I ride He works so hard, it seems like he's never got time because he writes every note, he writes every line And I've seen him work, but now he goes on in his mind It's like a design that's written in his head every time Before he even touches a key or speaks in a rhyme And those motherfuckers are runs with the kids in his Alright, so this is Phil Heath and... And I'm Kai Elgree <laughs> And we're here over at the Chatsworth Tower House Gym uh, we just got done finishing shooting some uh, film for you guys for Flex Online, and uh, it was a really long day. We got in about 10 a.m., and now it's closing in on midnight. So we're crazy tired, so I don't know what you want to try. I think we decide on back. Hey, I'll trade back. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do some back. Um, like I said, we're both still tired as hell, but, you know, you know we're going to get a little, little workout in just before the, you know, Olympia prep starts for both of us. and. You know, I'm feeling pretty good, I guess. I mean, I'm sure, Kai's, you know, how you feeling? The better yeah. the development. Absolutely. I mean, right. obviously, that's a good rule of thumb with anything. I think a lot of times the guys will get, you know, a little bit too overzealous and they, they train a little heavier. Sure. Where they're using their shoulders. Yes. And they're trying to and use the momentum, see how I'm using it. Yep. You should just stand up right, keep your lower back tight, maybe knees slightly bent, and then just really just come down. Beautiful. And that's it. Right. I mean, it's pretty simple, but I think a lot of the time, you know, we get excited. We want to, you know, we want to train hard. When the pounds used to go up. Said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we took some neural core, we got crazy, and we're like, ah, we're going to be like Phil Heath. <laughs> but you got to really, you know, have method to your madness. Yes. And making sure that you're getting something out of the workout. Because if you're going halfway, you're going to get half the result. Right, gotcha. Can you do a good 10 reps with oh, perfect sure. form so we Absolutely. can see exactly how it looks? Yeah. And Phil's focusing his mind on the tricep. Three heads to the tricep. Great development here. And you can see it working. Full range of motion, you can see Phil's twisting out at the bottom to get that full contraction like he was talking about. It's only the elbow joint that's moving, not the shoulder joint, guys. The elbow joint only, it is an isolation movement. For sure. One of the cool things about this is you can actually hold it at the top, you know, at the bottom. Contract. And you can contract for one count and then come back up and contract. And I'm already feeling the pump right now. I only yeah. did one set. So you mess around with the rep tempo. You hold that contraction oh, sometimes. Sure. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. You can always change the cadence in your workouts with stuff like this. Okay. You know, you can do a couple, you know, faster. And that's the cool thing about rep ranges of 10 or more is because you can do two normal. You can do two fast if you want, but not too fast. Yeah. But a little Still bit Still keeping faster. control and tension. You can do a couple very, very slow. So now you're getting the best of everything. Yeah, okay. That's great variety. And it's a great tip right there, guys. So, Phil, how many sets here? How many reps for the first exercise? This one, I, I usually do three to four sets. No, 10 to sometimes 15 repetitions. 10 to 15 reps, four yep. sets. Yep. Beautiful, and then we move on to the next exercise, which is? We're gonna do a little bit different. It's, it's, a, it's a French press, so we're gonna use the incline, you know, incline bench, but instead of using a camera bar, we're gonna use dumbbells. Show you a little different. Beautiful. Show you a secret. Ah, let's right. do it. All right. I didn't like the vertical leg press at first. Um, I just think that it's an uncomfortable movement, my low back, and knees and stuff like that, but I think just like with any movement, your body does adjust. It's one of my favorite exercises. Now. I think it's actually pretty good. What I'm really trying to be conscious of is, is how, how my muscles are actually contracting during these exercises. Sunday's out, baby! Right now, I'm really, really pumped. 
like energy wise. But I gotta keep in mind that at this low amount of body fat, um, you're more prone to injury, so you gotta walk a fine line. 10 for first call out. 12 for top three. 14, top two. 20 to be Mr. Olympia. I like this angle. Unlike other leg presses, usually the leg press you gotta load it up and go through the 10 plates each side just to get, you know, the contraction and stuff. This one I'm gonna have to do half as much and it's the same. Not all machines are created equal. Like it's a angle for some reason. Like, the down force actually comes down pretty hard, so to get it up is one thing, but you gotta control it on the down. I train with it myself. I want to train hard, I want to train intense. Got to train smart though too. Um, can't risk getting a minor injury right now. That's it for quads. Um, whew. That was intense. Um, definitely being nine days out for the Mr. Olympia contest, that's, I think, one of the better workouts I've had this whole prep, just as far as intensity is concerned. Um, I'm ready for, ready for the fight of my life right now. And uh, Honestly, I'm not even counting anymore. I'm just going by how I feel. Doing it with a good 315 pound range for 20 reps um, was challenging for me, and I could feel it like every rep I could feel, and that was really cool. What Honey has to be doing right now is four sets of 20 reps, and uh, a lot of people say, "Oh, that," you know. So, you know, you're doing all this high rep training, and a lot of people don't realize that as long as you're using heavy, heavy weight, I don't see it being a problem. But uh, if you're using high reps as a way of um, mm. lowering the weight and so-called chasing a bump, you're gonna get small. First place, baby. So right here we have our nine leg curl machine. Um, I'm just gonna do three sets of uh, Anywhere from 12 to 15 reps. It's been a good range for me so far. I've just noticed a lot of results. I mean, if anyone noticed like the hamstring drop that I showed at the Arnold Classic, this is really the exercise that did it, so. Right here, we're at the Smith Rack. Uh, I'm getting ready to do some sniff like a deadlift. So I'm gonna place my feet right here, and what that's gonna do is put more emphasis on my glutes and hamstrings. So I'm going to let my toes come over just a little bit, and I'm just going to perform it naturally. If you can do it with a little weight, then that's fine, but I mean, you really want to put some poundage on just to get the stretch, but without hurting your lower back. If you're hurting your lower back, you're probably going too heavy. So with this exercise, we're going to point the toes that way. Just point the toes down and not kick with the heels. One of my favorite exercises, actually. Um, I'll keep this particular movement in throughout the year, probably for the remainder of my career here over at Armbrust Pro Gym. Need his name, a big light, he just wants to be heard Whether it's the beat or the mic, he 
feel so unlike everybody else alone In spite of the fact that some people still think that they know I'm a fucker He knows the code, it's not about the salary, it's all about reality And making some noise, making a story, making sure his click stays up That means when he puts it down, talks, picking it up, let's go Never see anyone, who never really talks much Never be so expensive, he's getting even starstruck Humble through opportunities, giving this right effect The man in his judgment, he makes a living and writing wax Put it together himself, let a picture commence Never asking for someone's help, he would get some respect He's only focused on what he wrote, his business be gone free Now with all the foes, let's kill the Nazis This is 20 Skill, 80% fear, be 100% clear Cause right was ill, who would've thought he'd be the one that set the West in flames I heard him wreck it with the crystal method, name of the game I came back, dropped, peg of death, took him to church I like bleach, man, why you had the stupidest person? This dude is the truth, now everybody giving them guest spots His stock's through the roof, I heard he fuck him with this guy This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will 5% pleasure, 15% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name They call him right, he's sick, he's spitting fire and might Got him out the dryer, he's hot, got him in Fort Minor with top But I fucking nile, this porcupine, he's a prick, he's a cop the type really wanna be with the rappers, hope we get shot Eight years in the making, patiently waiting to go Now the record with Shinoda's taking over the flow He's got a part of a crime, this shit is equally dope You won't believe the kind of shit that comes out of this kid's ball tie He's not your every day on the block He knows how to work with what he's got, making his way to the top He goes thinking some kind of notice, they ain't people Asking him, was it getting in the book, and this is dead for a name, but I know He's getting in the room, he's getting in the room He'll get your words and quit him, and a shot of rockin' with juice Juice, yeah, he's cool, I know the rap is one of the best And they can't get to it, they do it, give a hundred percent Forget Mike, nobody really knows how or why He works so hard, it seems like he's never I got time because he writes every note, he writes every line I've seen him at work, but not like he's on in his mind It's like a design that's written in his head every time Before he even touches the keys or speaks in a rhyme And those motherfuckers are runs with the kids at his All right, so this is Phil Heath, and, and I'm Kai Elbree. <laughs> and we're here over at the Chatsworth Powerhouse Gym. Uh, we just got done finishing shooting some uh, film for you guys for Flex Online, and uh, it was a really long day. We got in about 10 a.m., and now it's closing in on midnight. So we're crazy tired, so I don't know what you want to try. I think we decide on back. Hey, I'll take that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do some back. Um, like I said, we're both still tired as hell, but... You know, you know, we're gonna get a little little workout in just before the you know Olympia prep starts for both of us, and you know I'm feeling pretty good, I guess. I mean, I'm sure, guys. You know, how you feeling? Well, I don't think you're gonna speak for me, were you? There no, no, I'm not gonna speak for you. No, I think uh, <laughs> I feel uh, like you feel. How you feel? <laughs> I'm all right. Coach used to say in college, if you can't dunk, don't try. It's just gonna look dumb, you know? Your pull-ups look beautiful though, though. Oh, thank you. Being more mindful of the contractions, taking the time to really, you know, apply your mind to what you're doing. I figured I'd do one more before I started to get cold. Oh, shit. Now I gotta go. Say, can I do me? Do you want to do some, uh, yeah. some type of row or? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Four. Let's go. Five. Let's go. Six, let's go. Seven, let's go. Again, since he was there, it was good to have a training partner for once. You know, especially someone I'm going to be competing. <laughs> what else do you want to do, Kai? Hmm. What are you thinking of? I can see, I can see the cogs are turning. You want to try some pull downs? Let's get it. Oh. We're gonna check. We're gonna check uh, Bill's testosterone levels. Make sure he's, you know. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, like, you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not mad? Yeah, yeah. Oh! You don't want to see Bill mad. Oh no! You don't want to see Bill mad. So, I was thinking of this, like a low roll, or let's get it. Let's get it. All right, all right, let's do it. Let's go. Five. Let's get it. Let's get it. Six. Seven. You need to do those J color workouts. I'm telling you, dude. Back? You kidding me? Which, which, which one? Battle to the Olympia. Oh, okay. We're using that for Olympia. Ah. Oh, it's in the midnight, but and I actually feel bad for Kai because he's got to be going on three in the morning for him. So let's get it. Let's get it. I know how hard these guys train out here in Hollywood. Don't look at me, dude. I ain't from here. <laughs> How? These guys. <laughs> what guys? Good thing to actually uh, put 
with the weights where they're supposed to go. Maybe it's on the bottom and <laughs> ladder on top. It was a idiot puts the heaviest one on the top. Friday afternoon, uh, March 10th. We're about nine weeks out from the Colorado Pro, and uh, feel pretty good. I mean, drop some, drop some good body fat. Uh, feel, like I said, been feeling pretty good. Just got back from Ohio last week, so been getting back in the swing of things. But yeah, um, now this is where uh, usually the second phase out of four usually kicks in. Going nine weeks, then six, then three, and then this day of the show. So the intensity gets a little bit better due to the diet and things like that. I usually don't lose a whole lot of strength. Um, I actually develop more muscle endurance. And because of me eating uh, cleaner, my body just seems to respond better. So we got a couple more sets of this and then we'll move on. <laughs> Now you can move on and do some dumbbell work. Do we'll some incline. All right, everything's warmed up. We'll go ahead and no, all work on sets from here on now. Don't worry about it. contract the muscle as much as I can. No, I got my shirt on, but in a little bit I'll take it off and you see what I'm talking about. But by squeezing it, it helps uh, bring out a little bit more hardness to the muscle. And, and I just like the way it feels, so.
harder than the off season where I can rest all day, talk to friends and stuff like that. Now I gotta get more focused. These last two sets might be a little different. I'm just gonna do like five with one hand, five with the other, five with one hand, five with the other. Yeah, I'm 
that's it didn't count. That was just to kind of find my sweet spot and stuff. Kind of like, you know, you play tennis and stuff. If you do, hitting your stroke right. And that's kind of like what you use your warm-ups for. Just to find like that good contraction and everything. You want to make sure you're actually contracting the muscle, not just lifting the weight. It's two different things, you know. You're going to stimulate more muscle fibers doing it that way. Having your mind and your muscle work together. Do a warm up, yeah.